Hi Capricorn, happy holidays. This is Sade from Blue Valley's Tarot. I'm here to do um, your weekly love reading for the last week of December. So this is kind of like a bonus read. We will take a look to see what's going on uh, between you and your person, the past, the present, and the future. Could you also um, please like, share, and subscribe to the video and comment below and let me know if it resonates. Keep in mind that it's just a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please check your moon arising. If you would like to book a personal reading, please shoot me an email. My email address is in the description box below. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first one says, be I'm sorry, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So sometimes when you say, um, like prime example, if you say, oh my God, I would never date um, Libra because I hate that they do this, that, and a third, a lot of times that's just a reflection of um, things that you don't like about yourself. So always keep that in mind. Then the next one says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So learn to let loose. Enjoy yourself. Seize the moment. And the last one says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So for some of you, it seems like maybe um, your spirit guides are trying to put you on a certain journey and you keep resisting the change. So maybe you're holding on to something you're not supposed to be holding on to and your guides are telling you just stop resisting. So let's get some cards to see what's going on. Can you give me a card that represents the past between Capricorn and their person? Give me a card that represents the past between Capricorn and their person. Spirit, give me a card that represents the past between Capricorn and their person. Okay, nothing is popping out. Let's see. Hold on. Hmm. There we go. Spirit, can you give me a card for the present? Oh, that's so crazy because I used Libra as an example. And the Justice card just came out, which is the Libra's card. <laughs> Oops, too many cards. Spirit, can you give me a card that represents the future for Capricorn and their person? I'll take that one. Can you clarify this emperor? Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Okay. Spirit, can you clarify this justice card? Why is the justice here for the present? Why is the justice? Can you clarify this five of wands for the future? Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here for Capricorn? Oops, too many cards, but we'll take the one at the top. Okay. Spirit, can you give me a final likely outcome? Oh, they gave a moon. Okay, let's clarify that final likely outcome because the, you got the moon for the final likely outcome, but the moon represents secrets and hidden things. So let's find out exactly what's going on. Spirit, clarify this moon card. Why is the moon here for Capricorn? Lord, and the tower. Spirit, can you clarify the tower? Why is the tower here for Capricorn? Capricorn, what do you all have going on? Wow. Three major arcanas and the fool. Okay, let's let's see what's going on because this is a lot. This is really a lot. Okay, uh, I was ready to say cancer, Jesus. Capricorn. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer. Um, and we do have cancer in the reading because of the moon card. 
but it, it's a lot of Aquarius energy in this reading Capricorn. So a lot of you may be dealing with an Aquarius or that could be your moon arising. But the signs we have here are um, Aries, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with another Capricorn. Libra, Aries again, Leo, um, like I said, Cancer, Scorpio, and the rest of them pretty much are Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> so in the past, you received the Emperor and the Star card. So you may have been dealing with someone who is older than you. Um, this is a person that's kind of a little stubborn because they do not like to change. Um, he could be someone like that's in a military or like a police officer, but he would be someone that's in a high position in, in his job. Um, this represents someone who is well established, but at times they have a hard time expressing their feelings. Um, and they're very driven, but the thing is, this is a person that's driven by ego. And uh, you may feel at times like, you know, they're unable to empathize with you or even other people for that matter. Um, but with the star card, you know, your person sees a future, or at least they did see a future with you. Um, you know, I felt like they manifested you in their life and you manifested them as well. Um they were meant to be someone to come into your life to help and support you. Um, if you were stuck on something, this would have been the person that would give you that push to kind of make that opportunity a reality. Because this is like a business-minded person. Um, they don't really play too many games. They, like I said, they're very stubborn. They're straight to the point, and they're going to make sure that you're on your ship. Um, they would have truly had, you, you felt like at one point they had like a, such a positive influence on your life. Um, but for whatever reason, it's like something came up, but they couldn't really be with you. So they couldn't truly give you the commitment that you want. Um, they, for some of you, they could let it live at a distance from you, but I do feel like for most of you, if you are in separation from your person, that they definitely stalk you on social media. Um, I'm not too sure right now. Well, I kind of got an idea why they can't be with you because of this five of ones, but we'll get into that. Um, but, you know, they just felt like something came up and they couldn't be with you. And I felt like they did want to be with you. But if they're going to be with you, they want to give you their all. They don't want to have step it. And they knew that if they would have held on to you, they would have played games with you. Now, in the present, you have Libra energy, which is the Justice card and the Four of Wands. So, um, whatever went on with you between you and your person, I feel like they do want to make it right eventually. Um... And you are going to get justice for what if, if they hurt you in any type of way, you will get justice for that situation. Not saying that something bad is going to happen, but I feel like for the most part down the line, they're going to eventually try to make it right. Um, because with this four of wands, this represents twin flame. So you and your person have a strong connection with one another. And normally with the twin flame, your twin flame is typically older than you. And remember, I was saying the emperor is someone that's older than you. Um, this represents celebrations. This is a very sexual card. So they, so you two have a very strong sexual chemistry between one another. Um, and this is also a card that, you know, represents a person that's going to have a positive influence on your life. This is someone that you can lean on and that's what they want in the present. You know, that's what was going on between you two. You felt like, you know, this is my person. I need them. This is the person I want to lean on when I'm going through something. However, in the recent future or the recent past, whatever you want to call it, you got the five of ones and the ace of swords. So the five of ones basically represents someone who's dating multiple people. So normally when this card comes out, if you were to ask me, hey, should I still hold on? Should I stay with this person? I will tell you and I'm going to tell you to date other people because you need to make your person feel like, you know, they have competition so they can actually care about this connection because your person thinks that you're sitting home waiting by the phone for them, but you need to show them that you have options. You know, at this point, it may be best to just cut your losses with them at this present moment. I'm not saying forever because, you know, this is just the weekly reading. So anything is subject to change. And with that justice card in the upright, things will be made right eventually, but just not right now. Um... So with the five of wands, it's pretty much, you know, telling you to be rational about this situation. Cut your losses, 
with detach your emotions. Like think with logic and not emotions. Because with the ace of swords, I feel like your person feels you cutting them off. Um and detaching from them. So they're going to communicate with you. They're going to reach out to you. Um, but, you know, this just signifies that, you know, you all have some challenges that lie ahead between you two. And I feel like your mind is running at 100 miles per hour. And you may be having restless nights over this because I feel like you feel like you're about to find out something. Which goes with this five of wands when I said your person been out here dating multiple people. Then for your final likely outcome card, you have the moon card and the tower and, and the fool card. So the moon card represents secrets, hidden things. Um, it means someone has deep feelings for you, but they're not telling you and they can't understand why they're drawn to you, but that's because they're your twin flame. And so you got two twin flame cards that came out. So, you know, you and your person truly do have a strong connection with one another. And the moon card is another card that represents that, you know, your person is stalking you on social media. So I do feel like for most of you, you are, um, in separation or you're about to be in separation because like I said, with this moon card, this represents you finding out something that your person has been hiding from you. Something that they do not want you to find out. Which would be that five of wands because the five of wands represents um, cheating. Like your person dating multiple people. Um, and with the ace of swords, this just means that, you know... <sighs> You two have a difficult conversation that's about to come about, but it's very much necessary. So it's like, if you want to know, are we going to speak again? Yes, you're going to speak again because you're going to find the truth out about something. Um, so just be prepared because with the tower moment, I mean, I'm sorry, with the tower card, um, it just lets me know like a part of you, even, I feel like for most of you, you know that this person has someone else or maybe even multiple people, but you don't want to leave because with this tower card, this comes out when you don't want to leave or let go of situations, so spirit will do it for you. So it's like things you can't control. So it's pretty much like God saying, you know what? You don't want to let this toxic situation go. I'm going to do it for you. Um, so it, it forces you to, it's going to force you to move on into adapt to your new situation. And, you know, it's no point of resisting this energy. And, oh my God, as a matter of fact, remember with... This um, Oracle card, when it says you basically keep resisting, the Tower card is not going to allow you to resist anymore. So Spirit must have been wanted you to let go of this situation because they seen at the moment this person was no good for you. Your person has a lot of healing to do. And with the Star cards, the Star card represents healing. So um, your Spirit guys is just like, you know what? We're going to have to shake things up because... Capricorn is not letting this person go, but we need this person to heal if we're ever going to let this um, connection see the light of day again. Because your person, they want to just keep messing with multiple people. So with the Ace of Swords, they're going to come in and tell you, the Moon card as well, they're going to tell you what they've been hiding from you. The conversation is going to get a little uncomfortable. Um, you may be in your feelings, but it's necessary because you have to know you're going to have to go through this tower moment. But you're going to make it out the tower moment. And even with the fool card, this lets me know that, you know, you two love each other. But right now with the fool card, it's like love that's a little finicky. So it's basically saying like, you know, your person lacks commitment. They don't want to commit right now at this moment. And that's because they're not ready to let go of their hoish ways like they they are pretty much for the streets right now they like to be out in the streets they like to have multiple options and that's just what it is so your spirit guides are going to shake things up in your life to um separate you from this person so let's see what hidden messages your person would like to say to you spirit what messages do you have for capricorn see this says i wish i had treated you better so they know that they messed up. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn from their person? Whoa, too many cards. Let's see what these say. Ugh. My life is not together as it seems. I knew exactly what I was doing. So, yeah, they knew what they were doing when they were dating those multiple people. But they just felt like you were never going to walk away. But now they feel that you're emotionally detaching from them. You know, it's bothering them. And that's why they want to come in with this communication. 
Oh my God, look, this says it's time for me to heal now. What did I just say? With that star card, spirit is giving you a tower moment because they know it's time for um, your person to heal. So they need you, they need you to remove yourself from this situation and let this person do what they need to do. Then it says you speak to me through music. So certain songs may um remind them of you. And you know what's so crazy? Because the song that just came to my mind is um <sighs> Jaheen featuring Keisha Cole. Um, I changed. So I feel like your person want to grow into that energy because the song pretty much says like, I'm not wilding out like I used to. I don't think I don't do the things I used to do no more. I changed for you. So I feel like once you all go through this tower moment, your person is going to heal and then they're going to start to change because they know that you are their person because you're their twin flame. You had two twin flame cards come out. Then it says, I am afraid to contact you. Remember with the Ace of Swords, that represents communication. And it means having a, um, like a uncomfortable but necessary conversation. But they're scared of it because they don't know how you're going to react. Even though for majority of you, I feel like you already know what they're hiding. And then the last one says, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So that may be your energy. Maybe when you met them, maybe you were going through something. Um, and I don't know if it started off as a rebound at first or what have you, but somehow um, they felt like you were using them to distract you from whatever you were going through. But I think you all end up, no matter what it was, you all end up catching feelings for one another and falling in love with one another. But your person still was just playing games on the side and hiding things and from you and just doing them. And now you're you found out or you're about to find out and they're scared to have this conversation with you. But I feel like they would rather tell you before you hear from someone else or you see it on social media because you did have two social media cards come out. So for a small few of you, you may see something on social media about, you know, your person and someone else. I hope that that doesn't happen because that is a hurting feeling. Um, but either way, you know, take it with the chin up. You'll get through this like you will get through anything else. Um, so I hope that this helps Capricorn. I will talk to you next week um, for the January monthlies. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and comment below and let me know if it resonates.